Welcome to another video. This is your instructor, Adamas Kung Fu from SuperSQA.com. In this video, we are going to talk about types of testing. Okay, it's going to be a quick one because there are a few different types of testing. I just want to give you an overview and we're going to go into details in different videos. So I divide types of testing in three major parts. There is manual testing, automation testing, and load testing, stress testing, or performance testing. Okay, I should have just said performance testing. So manual testing is very minimal coding. As the name implies, you're manually testing things. You're manually going to opening a browser, you're manually clicking, you're manually typing, and doing all types of tests manually. So that is manual testing. Automation testing is a lots of coding. It's almost all coding, right? You do everything what manual testing does, right? All the testing, the test cases, and everything is the same, but you write code that would actually execute those tests. Instead of manually clicking here, manually opening that, manually typing this, you actually write scripts or code that actually do all of that. So that is automation testing. And that's what I do. That's what I focus on. And that's what I recommend you to get into because everybody nowadays have the demand for automation testing because manual testing is needed, required, it's a must but it's very time consuming and it just doesn't make sense. If it can be automated, why would you do it manually, right? And now we'll go, when we get into the details, that would make a lot of sense. Then stress and load testing is a field that has a moderate amount of coding, right? Because the codes usually don't have, they don't change very much. You write the code once and you can use it for a very long time. And this is when you're actually testing the software, how it behaves under load, right? Like when a million, millions actually of people uh, get into your page at the same time what happens is the server uh, able to handle it so there's a lot of scripts you write for that and there are people that focus strictly on on that and there's different tools for testing load and stress i've done that before i, I still do it in my own team i use a, 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 a tool called gatling and salsta but that's not my main focus. It's related to automation, but automation, the way I do it is more functional uh, testing, okay? So we're gonna talk about uh, details of those two different types. I'm not covering load test, stress test, because that's part of automation. Like, it would be difficult to get into load testing without having a, a, a knowledge of uh, automation testing, right? So. The things you have to keep in mind is you don't have to learn one after another. You can learn in parallel because manual testing is a lot more about terminology and it's, it's really easy. That's the way to put it. And you can learn automation while you learn manual testing. You can do it at the same time. Another thing to keep in mind, do not get intimidated, especially if you are brand new to the field of software. Like if you're coming from any other background, you won't believe the type of background I, my colleagues are. It's like completely, completely uh, big, big range. I have people that have master's degree in software engineering, and I have people that came from a film background, which you don't think is technical, but they all are awesome engineers, okay? So your background has nothing to do with it. Yeah, it helps if your background is uh, in engineering or some kind of technical field, yeah, you learn it quicker than somebody that came from uh, like an arts field, right? But it doesn't mean if you're not a technical person, you won't be able to get this. So I highly, highly um, warn you not to get intimidated. Just give it a chance, okay? You will get it. The time, how long it will take you to get it might be different, but you will get it. And learning never ends. It's not something you're like, okay, I'm going to learn. I'm going to spend a few months or a year learning. No, I'm still learning. I've been doing this for what, seven plus years. And every time there's new technology and you have to learn it. But learning becomes easier because you already know how things work. And Google is your friend. Obviously, you already know that. And there are lots and lots of resources in terms of becoming, uh, learning what you need to learn for testing. Okay. So the main, I, I, I added this slide to just, you know, give you an encouragement. But the main point of this uh, video is uh, the, the three types of testing, but mainly two types, manual testing and automation testing. And let's go ahead and get into the details of those.